what's up you guys after show reaction today i'm going to be reacting to some more of the originals this is season five episode nine and it's titled we have not long to love um let's get into the episode the consequences of us being together were grave but today thanks to you we celebrate a new beginning one in which we have the freedom to stand side by side and whatever trials may come, we will face them together as a family. Always and forever. Are we going to have to deal with the hollow again? Because I'm not really interested in that. Would you please pass the beignets? Good morning. Obviously, there's a lot for us to discuss here. Hope, let me begin by telling you how truly sorry. Thanks for breakfast, guys, but I have homework to catch up on. Let her come to you. That's not normal. She's not normal. She She's lost upset. We are deeply disturbed by the increased violence in New Orleans. There was a time not long ago when the species coexisted because there was order in the city, boundaries, everyone knew their place. In an effort to restore stability, the vampires reclaim the French Quarter as their rightful home. Blah, blah, blah. Hello? They're demanding the werewolves move back out to the bayou. Oh. These this isn't vampire episode purists. one of the show. Another good reason I'm glad to get out of New Orleans. You're leaving? Yeah, first thing in the morning. I thought you and Freya were back together at the funeral. No, I love her. I always will. But I wish she can't actually be with me, so... There's always something with her family, and her family's... Complicated. Yeah. She has to be here, and I need to be somewhere in the world where I can make a difference. I feel like you that can make a difference here. Dad, if you're worried, I'd wish you'd just say something. Helicopter parenting isn't really your thing. You bent a fork in half. Better than sticking it in the side of Elijah's neck. He wasn't himself, Hope. I don't care. Yeah, neither do I. Okay, I'm not ready to forgive him. Yeah, Memory or fair. Not? not fair. So it's just Elijah then, nothing more. All right. I'll keep saying this until you believe me. I'm okay. I promise. I know that you think I made a mistake doing that spell, but I swear I thought it all out. And you know what? I'd do it again because for once we're in the same room and the world's not ending. But now we have to deal with the hollow again. That was boring. Every day. I marvel at your strength and your grace, all of which suddenly came from your mother. <laughs> I wish you were here. Yeah, well, so do I. More than you know. I love that Haley means so much to him now. Like, after everything. It's really wholesome. Every time I look at Hope, I see the child of mine that I never got to raise. That's how I feel about her. That's how much I want to protect her. She came to me in so much pain, and I knew that she was going to take back that power with her without me. Okay, so I gambled that if she felt like we were on her side, maybe she would let us help her. Why, well, you couldn't have been more wrong. Now, Vincent, I'll have to come up with something. I already did. Hope's bracelet. She took it off for good a few years ago. Said she didn't need it anymore, but... I thought she destroyed it. No, she does. A voicemail. You tell me my girlfriend's dead by voicemail and you can't even return my calls. It all happened so fast. So what quick. Happened? How did she die? Car crash. Brakes went out. She died instantly. No pain, no suffering at all. Is Hope all right? She's coping. Can I see her? She just said aneurysm. Car crash can That's be like really not a good time. He I'm can sorry, like investigate that. Just fail. It, it doesn't happen anymore. I don't know the details. Okay, as you can see, there was a storm. So why was she out in it? Where was she going? I really don't know. And that doesn't bother you that you don't have answers because it's killing me that I don't know what happened. Declan, that I wasn't here to to save her. That you you had a funeral without me, so I couldn't say goodbye. God. They've made such a, like, a joke out of him, like... It's not right, Fred. Oh, like, we forget about him every five seconds. It's kind of awkward. Kind of sad. Party's over. Emmett, 
You and your crew are no longer welcome in New Orleans. Hardly for you to decide. You walked away from this city. Yeah, well, I didn't, and you don't get to banish my friends from the quarter. Banishment is your turn. Mine is law and order. You Peace don't even... Who are you? Like, you don't even live here. Where they belong. Those were your rules. Remember? Don't compare He's yourself from them. Me. I won't allow a bunch of dogs and their half-breed cousins. Yes. You don't want to finish that sentence? Josh, this place could use a little more sunshine. Couldn't agree more. Enjoy the rest of your day, your highness. But when the sun goes down, we'll be in the quarter. And if we see any werewolves, we'll be taking matters into our own hands. Dude, just kill them all right now. They're threatening the wolves. Just kill them all right now. Like, it's easy. Class would do it. Why won't you? We simply want things restored to the way they used to be, minus Marcel's boot on your throats. We think it's a fair offer. Uh, no. I never said I would negotiate with you. Can you just uh, kill Not him? Anything. You're a talented man, Vincent. A respected leader, and I can tell you genuinely care for your community. Working with us would be a wise choice. Okay, Emmett, you know what? That sounds to me like it's a threat. And I don't like threats. I get it. Your life is much less important to you than the welfare of your people. Your responsibility to them is your greatest motivator. I'm gonna tell you what. If one of my witches gets so much as a paper cut, I'm coming for you. I'm gonna rain hellfire down on each and every single one of you. So what you really need to do is go ahead and get the hell on the body here before I yank your punk ass out into the sun, you heard me? Do that now. Threat ain't gonna do it. Gotta go through with it. This is why class prevails. Think about what I said. The offer's only on the table for so long. Really just let him get away. Just away. fucking kill him. No, but it'll keep him above ground, and the next time Emmett crawls out of the shadows, I will rip his face off his thick skull. Why didn't you do that before? Oh, honey. I need you to put this on. No, I, I don't need to. It's not a request, Hope. Dad, you said it. I'm strong. I can control myself. No, you can't. Not with this. I lived with that darkness for seven years. I know how awful it can be. When I was in proximity to my siblings, it was almost unbearable. And now you, you're carrying all of it inside you. Okay. If um, if I put that on, do you promise to stop worrying? I'm your father. I'm always going <laughs> to worry. There. Feel better? Or were you planning on hovering over me until the end of time? Well, the end of time is a bit extreme. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Is it rusting? <laughs> I'm kidding. What the hell? Well, that didn't last long. What did it just like suck the magic out? When I was in Dublin, I got her grandmother's wedding ring. So I could ask her to marry me. Awkward. Did she know? Who am I kidding? She probably would have turned me down. I was bashing yeah, probably. Away out of my league and, and she had a hell of a pass. What do you mean? An ex. Really did a number on her. You can tell she still held the candle for the guy when you, you find a woman that her smile could end wars and she has a heart as big as Ireland. You'd have to be a fool to let her go. Yeah, but if she was, wasn't really that into You're you. Right. How is that fair in you? A smile to end a war. So now you see her face everywhere you go. You hear her voice in your dreams and you feel the lingering ghost of her touch. You feel responsible. Perhaps if you'd known more, you could have done. Something. You're him, aren't you? The one that broke her heart. It's more of a her decision, but sure. Ivy, they're hateful people and then they're psychopaths. Emmett strikes me as the latter. That might be true, but no matter what the night may hold, just remember that dawn is always right around the corner. You always manage to find the light in the darkness, huh? There's always beauty to be seen. 
You just have to focus on what's right in front of you. I'm focused. The lightness suits you. Oh my god, just kiss already. You're not wearing your bracelet. I need uh, two drams of absinthe. You're 15. <laughs> it's for a spell. What kind of spell? Bracelet's not working, Dad. It's not enough. Well, then we'll find something that does work. Responsibility. It's my mess. I'll clean it up. Fine is. Why'd you come here? Regret. I lost so many years with her, and I, I wanted to know about her life without me. So you're here to mine my pain for your absolution? No. Do you have any understanding of the damage you caused her? Her brakes didn't fail, did they? No. There was no car accident at all. But you know what happened. Tell me. Tell me how she died. You don't want to know. I have to know. Declan, hey, I need a favor oh. from the bar. What are you doing here? You know, I'm good here. If you could help Freya with the hats. She's fine. She's She's got Ivy. You've got one day with your girl. Stop listening to me yammer about the past and get over there. Are, are you Lucina? I'm sorry. They told me I had to do this. Lucina! Uh, Freya? Kill him? Wake up. Please. Please wake up. Okay. Okay. A nightwalk can build a human. This is why I told you you should have killed the Marcel. I'm here, Vincent. It's not my blood. This is why I said we kill them. It's simple. Wasn't enough. Now you've come for Declan. That's not what I'm here. Killed her. That's not what happened. No, but if you weren't there, she'd still be alive. Yeah, that's true. Stop! Oh, God, oh, stop! Man. Oh, shut, what did you do? We can't do this in front of me. Okay, fine. Now it's just the two of us. She's looking very pretty this episode, I'm not gonna lie. Three innocent people. Gone. Three people? That bomb? Three. Thought there'd be way more. I used to think that what I was doing was for the best. The werewolves were dangerous, the witches unpredictable, and the vampires, well, they were my people. And every day that New Orleans didn't fall apart was proof that I was right. But these people want violence for the sake of it. And I'll be damned if I let them use my name to do that. Then fucking kill them! It's not hard! Class would have done it by now! If he wasn't busy with other stuff. My memory was gone. I know who she was. Oh, now you do. How does it feel? Like the worst pain that I've ever experienced. I hate you. I hate me too. You let her die. Courage for all of you to come out here tonight, especially those of you in the werewolf community. It's times like these that either strengthen or break our bonds. Tonight we stand with you. We march together to honor Lucina, her legacy, her strength, and her fighting spirit. And whatever happens, we will not back down. I'm headed to the city of the dead to pray for the injured. Well, Ivy, I tell you what, if you got a couple of prayers just laying around, feel free to send them my way, okay? You're a good man, Vincent. Be careful. Yeah. I'm gonna see you on the other side of this, okay? I'm counting on it. 
didn't. You uh, almost got killed today. But I didn't. You need to stay here and rest. Hey, who's the doctor here? Marry me. No, <laughs> what? I'm serious. Is this because I almost died today? No. Well, yes, but no. Um, two years ago, I started planning how I was going to say it. Mm. Took it two years? Um, what that moment was looked like. I was just waiting for the right time. Two years! The right time never came. And then finally today it dawned on me that there's never a perfect time. There's just right now. And right now, I don't want to spend another second without you. No more reuniting at funerals. No more astral projections from the Middle East. No more choosing between you and my family because you are my family, Keelan. You're everything to me. So please marry me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you get it, girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's, perfect. it's perfect. I love you. I love you so much. So much. <laughs> I'm happy for her. What are you people? We're vampires. Everyone in this town, my friends, they're all... No. Some, not all. What about Haley? Haley, too. And, uh, Hope. I think you're gonna need something a little stronger than that water. <laughs> As if I didn't already. Haley and me, she... She lied about everything. No, she cared for you very deeply, my friend. That much I'm quite certain of. I don't know She's that much, I know but... she'd want me to do this. What do you think? You'll forget meeting me here today. Any questions you have about Haley's life or death will no longer plague you. His eyes isn't going small and open. Her love for you. And the joy and the happiness that you brought to her. And you will know without question that Haley Marshall is now at peace. And with that, you'll be at peace yourself. Is this the rest of my life? A rage that can only be quieted by violence? I hope if violence is what you need to feel better, then you have the perfect father. Oh. I mean, true. And I don't Probably not the best thing to be teaching your daughter, though. They are our streets. They belong to each and every single one of us, and each and every single one of us are welcome. No matter what they Protesting say. Protesting isn't really gonna help. You need to fucking kill these guys. And no matter what they do, these are our streets. I love that vampires are like standing up to the werewolves, but werewolves can like literally bite them and kill them with a bite. So like, hello guys. Pretty sure the werewolves are the apex predator. Apparently so. Between the two of you. Come on now, Emmy. You didn't think I wasn't gonna show up now, did you? So let me get this straight. Our solution, everyone in their corner, separate, was good enough when he demanded it. But somehow, I'm uh, hateful for proposing the same. No less hateful when it was his idea. It's true. That's right. He's changed. Marcel can't He die. knows it was wrong. But you can. Are the werewolves really worth dying for? You damn right. Astral projection. They must have a witch. Poor Vincent. You picked a side, and in doing so, betrayed the witches and your sweet Ivy. You should have taken me up on my offer. Or, you know, they should have killed you at the start of the episode. Did he just come here to bluff? He wanted to, just, wanted to find out what side I was going to choose. Then he wanted to punish me if I chose wrong. Uh, Marcel, run your faster than him. Hey, I wouldn't be drinking anything right now. To peace. To peace. Oh, man. 
But I like to. Jeez, Vincent just gets screwed, hey? Well, you just made him mad. Aw, oh, but I liked her! Couldn't just give him a little happiness? I don't know. Look, that was season 5, episode 9. I gotta say, class would have just killed him in the beginning. I don't know why, like, why empty threats? They literally threatened you and then you let them leave? Like, there was nothing to suggest that they would back down. So fucking kill them! Hello? This is why I absolutely just- I get really mad at like characters that go against class because like class just kills people and fixes the problem. Like, sure. I mean, it's a messy way to do it, but a lot of the time it works, you know? Like 90% of the time his plans have worked and like, this is the problem. You don't act like Klaus. You don't. Oh, if you just killed them at the beginning, I'm just saying. They're just fucking vampires. Like there's nothing special about them, like, wolves. Go fucking bite them! Get some venom in their systems! Make them beg to be saved! I don't- I don't get it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.